Good morning. Jesus said in the book of John that in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Aren't those sweet words, especially for a time where this virus is going on and a lot of people troubled and worried. It's really great when you don't have to live with fear because even though we have unknowns in our lives, Jesus says, I have overcome the world. That means anything that comes, he has overcome it. You know, the greatest trouble that we uh, will face obviously is death. That is the ultimate trouble. People grieving over the loss of loved ones. You know, <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, I bought a Gerber daisy. I love those flowers. And look at, in just a couple weeks, they're already fading. You can see the petals starting to fall. There goes one. It's really sad. They serve their time. They serve their purpose. Just think, they started out as a bud. They bloomed. And they brought me a lot of joy, especially as I was thinking about snow that was falling on Easter Sunday. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, the flower fades, the grass withers, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Aren't those great words as well? Something that you can count on always is the words of Jesus. And he says, even though you die, yet you shall live forever. Man, I love the comfort that he brings. I want to challenge you and encourage you to share the word of hope with others. Let them know what you have in Jesus Christ. He is there for you in all of your troubles. He is there for you when life ends. That's the joy that Christians have. You know, a lot of people say, well, that's too binding to, you know, live according to the word and to be in Christ. I feel like, you know, I want to be free. I want to be my own person. I came across an analogy in a Paul Tripp devotion last week he said a train picture a train going down the tracks it's kind of fun isn't it don't you like the choo choo I just love it going down the track if that train was off the track it wouldn't go anywhere would it it would just sit there that track is like a life in Christ when we're on the track that's really freedom I mean you could look at that train and say you're not free you can't go in the water you can't go on the land well it was meant to be on the tracks. You were meant to worship God. You were created in his image. You were meant to live in fellowship with him. That's what he desired for you. It's not enslavement when we follow his word. It's not enslavement when we're a follower of Jesus Christ. We're doing what we were meant to do. We're on the track. When we go off it, all kinds of trouble. But remember, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And when your time is done, when your time comes to fade, wither away, remember, the word of the Lord endures forever. And he has promised in his word, if you believe in me, you shall live with me forever. There is no greater joy. Now go and share that good news with others. This is Pastor John from The Branch. You have a great day.